Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will be taking a look at the Carvera Air from Macara. Now I am brand new to the CNC world, so I've never used one of these machines before. I am very familiar with 3D printing. So this video is fully from the standpoint of somebody who is a complete beginner. Now, because I am a beginner, never using a CNC machine before, and I think the last time I've ever done anything inside of CAD was probably 20 years ago back in high school. So I am very grateful for this examples guide. This guide Guide gives you step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial on how you're able to create four different products, really going over every single aspect that this machine is able to do. Now, I've already created all of these. Uh, this is just me shooting the beginning or intro of this video after I've already played with this. And this is some of the results, which will get a much closer look at all of this here. This one's my, probably my favorite. This is the fourth axis. This is where you're able to create 3D things, not just 2D. And then also this was the big project because you're able to create everything from scratch, from pretty much the circuit board over to a touch sensor, uh, to the acrylic that you see here of R2D2, and then also this uh, very thick ABS plastic base. So in today's video, we will be going over everything. I'm just gonna basically show you step-by-steps of everything we've done. The cool thing with this one here is that you can use either your phone, your tablet, or your computer. And one little tip that I will give you is that because we have this toolkit here and there are slots on the very top uh, left-hand side you can see here. So I have all five tools in order because there's five tools that you'll be using for all four projects. So what we did is we went with uh, tool one, tool two, tool three, four, and five in order. So this way, whenever the machine prompts us to change the tools, we know exactly which one to grab and use. And now for the unboxing. So first off, cut off the straps, open it up, and you'll see that it's adequately filled with foam and plastic. And it's at this point in time, I would suggest using two people to pull this out, but it was only me at home. So luckily the, the plastic was strong enough for me to, to manhandle out. Make sure you hold on to all of the foam and the box itself in case if you run into issues in the future, if you need to ship it back. This is where you take off the plastic on the outside and the inside. Also along the inside is where you will find additional hardware for your machine, especially starting on June 5th, if you purchase the Carvera or Carvera Air, you will get the laser and fourth axis module for free. Now on the inside, you will find everything from the user manual to the examples guide to the board that you will place down so it wouldn't hurt the metal portion of the machine. You'll have all of these boxes of accessories, the toolkits, you'll have all of your materials, you will have your laser module as well as the fourth axis. Now inside of the accessories box, you will have the power cable, USB cable, safety goggles, spare 1 8 bit collar. You have the spare tool bit. You also have the phone holder, emergency stop button, and the manual tool setter. So inside here, everything is all wrapped and also labeled. So here's your emergency stop button. Here's your spare 1 8 bit collar. Uh, over here, this one's gonna be the manual tool setter. This is your spare tool bits. Here is your cable. So everything is wrapped and labeled. Now for the materials box, you will have two waste boards. You'll have a single side PCB, double side PCB. You have the acrylic plate. You'll have ABS plastic plate, an aluminum plate, epoxy tooling board, the sand block, which is two of them. You have mini handsaw, double side tape, and LED light assembly kit. Again, everything on the inside will be wrapped in plastic or in plastic and also labeled. In the toolkits box, you'll have a screwdriver, M5 screws, four millimeter dowel pin, a spare tool bit. You have the L bracket, bit collar installer, uh, the spindle collet installer and top clamp. For this box, this is the laser module as well as safety glasses. You'll be able to open this up learn a little bit more details. You'll have your safety goggles, the laser module, along with the connecting cable. And then this is the fourth axis box. So if you do go for the fourth axis, this is where you'll be able to find the fourth axis itself, the chuck wrench and the epoxy tooling board. Now this is a little bit of details. You know, you better read this before you install this underneath here. This is where you will find everything stated on the box. 
Before you get started, there is a little switch that you would have to move over. So by default, it's on the 230 volt. If you're in the United States, you'll probably want to switch it over to that 115 volt. So I just used a little tool, switched it over to the left. And then there was a sticker right here letting you know to do that change before you plug in your power. Now for the software and program side of things, you just go to makara.com. Along the top, this is where you click on software. And this one page will give you everything you need. You have your Makara Cam, which if you do own a Carvera or the Carvera Air, customers get free access to the Makara Cam. Now, if you don't own Makara Machine yet, you will enjoy a 15 day free trial. So when it comes down to cams and CAD softwares out there, it's super nice that Makara will give you one of theirs for free. Now, the next thing you want to download will be the controller. So this is what you have next to your machine. This is what runs across your smartphone, tablets, and laptops. So you can use this with Windows, Mac, Android, Linux, and iOS. Now, the difference between controller and cam is that cam is what you use to create files and bring it over into your machine. So kind of just like a slicer for a 3D printer. Uh, then down over here, this is the controller. This is how you're able to control the machine itself, not creating files. This is how you import the file to your machine. Also how you can direct it to go back home. And it also lets you know when to change out your tool head. You can CNC in many ways. You can use your laptop to plug in, which we will be doing in just a second, or you can use your tablet or a smartphone. Now here are the four projects we will be doing in today's video, which is the LED light, laser engraving, three axis relief, as well as the fourth axis relief. Now down over here, these are the five different tools or bits you will be using for all four projects. So I placed all of these in order one through five, so it's easy to exchange. For the first project, we will be using the laptop. So in the back is where you'll have all of your ports. So we will plug in. Uh, also, this is where you will have your power switch to turn this on. This right here is the connector that once you screw in, that is your emergency stop. When you open the case, you want to specifically lift up first. Once it gets to the top, you can push it back. And then once it attaches, you're able to have it lift up. I mean, it's, it's a natural lift, push back, lift. So you will feel it, but that is the correct way to open it up. And here is the final result of the acrylic light up sign. So over here on the right hand side, the cool thing is that you do have that aluminum slab or that, or that aluminum piece and that acts as a switch. So I can either tap it to bring the light down or I can tap it to bring the light up. Or you can do a press and hold, it'll change the brightness. And then if you press and hold again, it'll change it right back up.
now that we are done, as you can tell, it is still sitting in this location. Let's we'll head right over here to your controller and just send it right on home. Woo! Yeah, I definitely need to be in a good ventilated room when it comes down to the laser engraving. just sent it to home because when it's finished, it'll stay in one spot and you can't take out the bit or anything. So what you'll do is you'll head over to your computer or program. You head right up to the very top for the functions and you move over to the display manual control interface. And then right there in the middle, you have the option for home. You just set it to home and it moves right back home. And here is the finished product. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely, you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.